이번에 명예 광주 시민이 된 팀셔록 기자를 만나 5.18의 진실을 밝히기 위해 더 밝혀야 할 것들은 무엇인지 물었습니다. 팀셔록 씨는 비밀로 남아있는 미국 정부 문서들이 아직도 많다고 말했습니다. 직접 들어보시겠습니다. I feel very honored and I'm really uh, so happy to see that the spirit of the democracy movement is still alive here. Uh, just using the Freedom of Information Act, you know, you, you ask for documents on a certain period of time for certain agencies and uh, you, after they make decisions, the, 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 you know, whether it's they can give it to you or declassify it. But they did cooperate very closely with a military group that was taking over the Korean military and they did side with the Korean military when they should have sided with the Korean people. And that was the biggest tragedy and mistake of the U.S. government. And as an American, I feel very ashamed. So there's still more documents that we could get about all what the United States knew. Why did they make a decision on May 22nd to allow you know, the troops to be moved from the DMZ down here. You know, Americans are told that Ameri American forces are here to protect South Korea against North Korea, not, uh, you know, not protect the South Korean military from the Korean people. And, you know, we, we should defend, the, and that's the biggest problem, is that it's, it's uh, you know, to me the biggest problem is,